discussion on mitral EA fusion and E by A reversal on Doppler echocardiography and the assessment of left ventricular diastole function in the presence of mitral EA fusion. Transmitral Doppler tracing from apical four chamber view showing varying degrees of fusion of mitral E and A waves. E by A reversal is also evident in the later three beats due to partial EA fusion. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Usual transmitral Doppler shows an early diastolic E wave and an atrial systolic A wave normally separated by a short interval in diastasis where there is no pressure gradient across the mitral valve when the normal vital valve is widely open. Tachycardia shortens the period of diastasis and leads to EA fusion. EA fusion is also seen in mitral stenosis when there is no diastasis due to persistently elevated left atrial pressure causing a continuous transmitral gradient. First degree AV block also enhances the possibility of EA fusion. When the mitral EA fusion is partial as in the last three beats of the picture, it is still possible to measure peak E and A velocities and demonstrate E by A reversal suggesting left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. But when there is complete EA fusion as in the first two beats of the initial image, it is not possible to calculate the EA ratio to assess diastolic function. Son and colleagues suggested using mitral annular velocity measured by tissue Doppler in such cases to assess left ventricular diastolic function. They showed that there is a good correlation of the ratio between peak fused mitral inflow velocity and peak fused mitral annular velocity with left ventricular diastolic pressure. They mentioned that a ratio of 8 or more predicts left ventricular filling pressure of 15 millimeters of mercury or more with a fair sensitivity of 65% and specificity of 74%. Here are a few important references on mitral EA fusion and assessment of LV diastolic function. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.